brothers and sisters, welcome to the Blading for Truth compound here. Got a nice little fire going. Hope you enjoy the, the sweet sounds of the burning fire. You know, I started this fire. I had trouble starting this fire tonight. I, it's, it's like I need, like, a, I, have a, I have a robot in the shed over there. Close your eyes. You can see the shed on the Blading for Truth compound. There's an old robot in there that, Robob in there that I used to have come out and start the fires for me. But I need to fix him. He's like rusting out and he ran out of battery power. And I got to get him going, start these fires. Maybe put a voice, a voice gimmick inside his uh, little gimmick body and maybe... <laughs> Maybe he'll talk to me on occasion. I don't know. I don't know what I got to do to get that thing working again. Little robot. Bob. Robot. Uh, anyway, welcome to the show here, brothers and sisters. Welcome, Blading for Truth podcast, episode 67. What's up, everybody? What is up? I got a couple things this week I want to talk about. One... And we'll get to it later. On the pro wrestling front, I have a question for WWE fans. That's right. It's a big question. Big question that I got for the uh, the old WWE universe. But before we get into pro wrestling, I saw the Joker today. No, not the Joker. I saw Joker today. Oh my God. This movie, guys, this movie was flipping amazing. Amazing. I have a proper review coming out tomorrow of Joker. And I hate that word review, but that's what everybody calls it. So I guess I got to, you know, put review in it. But I don't like using the word review because it's it's just me. It's just me talking from a fan's pr perspective. I I think review is for people that, you know, consider themselves critics. Even though the critics today are just bloggers anyway. They're doing the same thing I am, except they're typing it out and misspelling things every five sentences. But that's neither here nor there. But anyway, yeah, my Joker review proper is coming out tomorrow, which would be Monday. I will say that I really feel like since I thought about it all night since I left the theater... This may make my all-time favorite movies list, and I'm not kidding. It's been a long time since I said those words, or had that thought. And Joker was amazing, so... To Warner Brothers, Todd Phillips, and Joaquin Phoenix, I say thank God for you. Thank God. Thank God. Amazing movie. Amazing movie. I want to talk about it... Um, with some people, like I said, tomorrow, the the little review, I'll give you my thoughts on it. Uh, Non-spoiler, but I did, you know, I, I went through one scene and laid down some specifics of the scene. But maybe at the end of the week, I'll do another one with spoilers because I want to talk about the ending of the movie. And I decided not to in the video that's coming out tomorrow. So, I mean, it's, it's the second week. I think it's fair to... Uh, for people to start talking about the actual plot line and what happened and how the movie ended, but you know, it's only the second week. So maybe we wait on that one more week, but excellent movie. If you're a fan of the Joker character, you will be a fan of this. So I would suggest uh, definitely get your ass to the movies. Do it. Do it as soon as you can. Excellent, excellent movie. Shout out to the old school 70s films. Swig of coffee. So, Blading for Truth, Podcast 67 here. I don't have much to say, but... Go see Joker, and WWE fans, I have a question. I have a question. The question is, do you hate yourselves... It's a serious question. If you're a WDB fan and you stumbled on this, uh, 
you're listening and you feel like typing, because I know you do, because you're a WWE fan, leave me a comment and tell me if you hate yourself or not. Because I don't watch WWE anymore, but I do see what's going on on the show over the past week. And I, I can't figure out why at least 2.3 million people to 2.8 million people watch something so terrible and embarrassing. The only thing that I can figure is they hate themselves. I mean, it's at a point right now where I'm thinking, did you ever see Vegas Vacation? Where Clark Griswold is just gambling his whole savings away and it's like the third time he goes down to the blackjack dealer and the dealer looks at him. He says something like, hey, Griswold, why don't we, just to save time, go back. We'll go out back. I'll kick you in the balls, take half your money, and that'll be that. <laughs> I feel like WWE fans must be Clark Griswold because last week, 10-second defeat Brock Lesnar over Kofi just to have a match between Kane Velasquez. Wow. Cool. And then Monday Night Raw, I saw that Tyson Fury's on, a boxer. Oh, wow. He's getting a main event push. <laughs> okay. And so we got we got MMA. We got boxing on the wrestling show. And then, let's see, Friday SmackDown this week. The rating dropped from $4 million to $2.8 million. For the big second episode, uh, coming off the season premiere, the premiere on Fox Television Network, where you had The Rock and a bunch of uh, other people said to be there but didn't show up. Uh, you got two point eight million there, and you had some kind of draft, and everybody thought, "Oh, it's going to be different this year. Ooh, it's going to be an actual draft." No, no. Stephanie McMahon came out and what, four or five different spots and announced five or six different picks at once. And it was a pointless show. So my question is, do you hate yourself? Because it seems like the only reason that you would watch some kind of crap like that is because you hate yourself and you just can't deal with life. I can't believe that 2.3 million people are still tuning into Raw. It's like the magical mystery number that we've been trying to figure out over the past couple of years. What is that number gonna gonna take? Like when they creatively bottom out and they st they they just stop. They stop writing stories and they're just. I mean, the Bray Wyatt thing at the pay per view last week with Seth Rollins getting disqualified, but no, it wasn't disqualification. It was a referee stoppage in a cage, in a cell. They're going against their own rules again. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. If this was any other TV show, you'd stop watching it. Pick a show. Pick a show. Let's do uh, El Camino came out, the uh, Breaking Bad movie. I didn't get to watch it yet on Netflix. But imagine Breaking Bad, like, you know, season four. <laughs> it premieres and, and Walt and Jesse aren't making and selling meth would you just accept that like it's never addressed right because the <laughs> because the equivalent is when you're in a cell anything goes right that's the rules that they have in place for their their canon which is pro wrestling and that's the rule of the match right so anything goes right and oh by the way cell matches and cage matches are usually you know, the end of the feud. Well, that doesn't matter anymore. And I guess you throw the rules out because the, the match was stopped. So would you watch Breaking Bad anymore? Like season four comes on and there it is. They're, they're in a flower business. Wouldn't you be like, wait, what the F are they doing? What is, what is happening? What am I watching? It's never addressed. And then you just, you would watch next week? I'll give you the next week because maybe you're thinking, wait, maybe it was a dream sequence or something. But no. Would you keep watching it? 
Would you keep watching Walking Dead if, like, bullets didn't stop zombies anymore? Would you keep watching it? I know half the people don't watch it anymore, but, you know, you know what I'm getting at. Unless you hate yourself and you want to punish yourself weekly, what'd you have? Uh, let's see. It was two on Friday, probably four to five hours on Sunday, and then three on Monday. Add that up. You're, ta you're talking about 10 hours of time that you're spending as a fan in a three-day period. Monday, four, four, four-day period. You got to hate yourself. Again, I'll say this. I've, I've said this forever. Stop watching it because it's never going to change. Fortunately for you, there is another wrestling company on Wednesday nights. NXT has failed, apparently. Their numbers are trash. Trash. Watch AEW. I haven't seen anything stupid there yet for the past two weeks. Yet 2.3 million people still watched Raw. 2.8 million people watched this draft on SmackDown, the supposed draft. You mean to tell me that you're never going to stop watching WWE? It's pathetic. It's pathetic. Movies suck. TV in general suck, except for Joker. Oh, you got to go see that movie, guys. You got to go see that movie. So you're just watching it out of habit of it sucking? You know, I, I really wonder if you break it down, that 2.3 million that watches Raw, and I don't watch it anymore, but I used to podcast on it weekly, so I got I fell into this trap of thinking that I had to watch it, you know, just to cover it, talk about it. How many people of the 2.3 million are doing that? I know there's not like millions of podcasts on wrestling, but there's a good number Wrestling, YouTube, Dirt Sheet Riders, like that outer business of pro wrestling, the outer circle that I used to be involved in. How many people? Do you think that's the point three? So that leaves two million people watching it. Who are you? You really care about a boxer coming in? Like, it's, it's so stupid. It's so stupid. I remember TNA when... Bellator made that deal and they came over to that channel. They were all on Spike, I think it was. They interweaned some of the Bellator fighters into Impact. And TNA got crushed. You fans crushed them. And now fa fast forward eight years and you're getting the same thing. Oh, it's Fox. Okay. Okay. You got you got a prince in Saudi Arabia booking this mat this this card again. No one cares. Let alone y'all y'all freak out over women's rights on the <laughs> on the pro wrestling show. You don't have a problem with the Saudi Arabia show. Well, no, I don't watch the Saudi Arabia show, but you know I'm gonna I won't watch it. But yeah, but as soon as it's over, 24 hours later, you still watch Raw. I mean, what is it? What is it with you people? Turn it off. You go on Twitter after a wrestling show. My God. Bitch and moan and bitch and moan. Here's an idea. Don't watch it. I mean, if you want to watch it and you like it, fine. But I question your sanity. But I got to think the majority of people don't like it. School's back in. Don't tell me you're you're watching it for your kid. You're because your kid isn't up until eleven thirty. Is he eleven o'clock at night? Is he or she? No. Swig of coffee. It's like the old days. Ranting on some wrestling. Yo, you guys got to see Joker though. Oh my God, Phoenix was just out of control. Amazing in this character. Oh, my God. 
I couldn't take my eyes off him. I said this in my review too. It was like the fastest two hours of my life. That's how much his performance will suck you in. And the look of the movie and how well it was shot and constructed. You're going to get sucked right in. I'm telling you, that was a fast two hours of my life. I couldn't believe when it was over that it was actually two hours. It's crazy. Crazy good movie, though. Crazy good movie. And you do not have to be a a comic book fan or a Batman Joker fan to enjoy this movie. I mean, this was like... Seriously, this was something special, I think. It's that once-in-a-lifetime, you know, athlete that comes along. Generational, you know, generational. Because, I mean, people can name some good movies that have come out in, I don't know, the past 10 years. But I had difficulty thinking, you know, what was better than this that I've seen in the past two years, three years, four years, five years? I don't know. It's amazing. Now, again, it's not going to be for everybody. But, boy, they're crushing it in the box office right now if you look at their... The people going to see this movie. It's insane. And by God, it was excellent. If you are listening and you remotely like, you know, superhero movies or Batman or Joker, you will love this. So. Really, go see Joker. Carve out some time this week, man. It's excellent. But yeah, anyway. WWE fans. Wouldn't you rather just, you know, if you're in a house, which I'm assuming you are because you're watching WWE, wouldn't it be easier just to smash your head off a wall a few times than to really suffer through 10 hours of horrible wrestling content in four days? Wouldn't that be easier? Like, why do you do it to yourself? You know it's going to be garbage. Yeah, but Becky and Sasha had a good match. Well, great. Are people going to remember that or are they going to remember the ending of the pay-per-view? Yeah, but Bailey turned heel on Monday. She got her hair cut. Well, that's great. Who gives a damn about five minutes of the time? See, most people will go to the YouTube of WWE and just check out some clips that look interesting that happened that night. And I know, speaking of YouTube, uh, the Kane and Brock stuff, they have like, I don't know, millions of views on that thing. But they're not watching the show, those people. Those people are MMA fans. You're not going to get them to watch your show, no matter what you do. So why, why are they doing this? Probably because they can't make any wrestling stars. But you know who can? AEW. AEW is like the... The Todd Phillips, Warner Brothers, Joker of wrestling right now. So watch it. Get that number up to two, two million. If half of you Raw fans, half of you, which would be 1.15 of you right now, million. If you guys came and watched AEW on Wednesday... The number would be almost exactly the same as the number of raw viewers right now. So just do it. Give it a go. See what happens. Hell, you might even like it. Imagine that. Imagine you like something that you thought would you would never like. Just by watching it. Instead of commenting on it like you did watch it. Or you know what's going on. Imagine you just turned it on and you actually liked it. It's funny, I'm talking about Joker and WWE. It's almost like <laughs> it's almost like it was written in the stars. Vince McMahon's the Joker. He's legit the Joker. And the joke's on you, WWE fans. Pro wrestling fans. Joke's on you. Hey pal. Put on a happy face. <laughs> yeah, it's that. Because he knows he has this insulated two million people. He's got to be saying when he sees this numbers, these numbers weekly, he's got to be saying to people in his creative meetings, it doesn't matter because as long as we stay around 2 million, 
We're golden. USA Network doesn't get $2 million for anything. But they do for us, pal. As long as we don't... We can throw shit out there for three hours. As a matter of fact, that's what we're doing, pal. We can, we can just throw shit between the hours of 8 to 11, and we'll still get 2 million people. You really think he's going to change the way he books? Unless he has a reason to? You know what a good reason would be? If everybody stopped watching the show, and you see that 2.3 million, 2.5 million, whatever they're getting on a consistent basis, imagine if that dipped under 2 million. It's one little number. It's 300,000 people. It's not going to change unless that number dips. So change it. One week. One week. Just stop watching it. Get that number on Raw to a 1.9 and you see if he makes changes. And then go to the YouTube and check out everything you missed and you'll see you didn't miss anything. So at that point, more, get your friends to stop watching it. And maybe that 1.9 dips down to a 1.5. Then will it be panic time? It's the only way you're going to get things to change. People like us that are talking about it, how horrible it is. I don't even watch it anymore. I don't care if they change it. If they changed it to look exactly like AEW and copied their booking, I still wouldn't watch it. I'm done. I'm out. I'm too late. It's too late for me. <laughs> you say that now, but... You wait, pal. I'll get you back, too. No. No, I'm done. But you people that are still watching it, man, what are you, what are you expecting? You expect it to be better if you're still watching it? You're going you're gonna to forge through. You're going to forge through and just hope it changes. Good luck with that. <laughs> Good luck with that. In what business does that happen? He's feeding you shit and you're eating it. You go back to the same restaurant every week. Even though it's horrible. And you know it's horrible. You're just doing it out of habit. It's horrible. And I say all this on a Sunday night. But in 24 hours, you'll be watching it. You'll be tweeting about it. You'll be bitching and moaning about it. and The ratings will come out on Tuesday. And it's going to be the same old story. Here's an idea. Instead of him allowing Vince McMahon to be the Joker, you be the Joker. This is what you do. 300,000 fans. Let's get this number under 2 million. 300,000 of you, go see the Joker movie tomorrow. 8 o'clock at night. Go do it. Skip Raw. Don't DVR it. Just skip it. You could read a report on the dirt sheets to see what you missed. And when you do, you'll be like, oh, I didn't miss anything. Do it. And see if anything changes. Put the joke back on him. Because he is joking you. I'm the Joker, pal. I'm the Joker. Stop me if you heard this one. Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there, Vince? Shit. Shit who? Shit booking, pal, and you're watching it. Ha, ha, ha. That's him. That's him. Doesn't give a damn. Because of that number, he doesn't give a damn. So, it's up to you. But if you like WWE, put down in the comments, tell me why I'm wrong. Tell me what I'm missing. Or you don't even watch it anymore. You don't know how good it is. Okay, well, you tell me. You tell me. Blading for truth. Let's put this fire out tonight. I know, only 20-some minutes, but stay tuned to the channel. Got a Joker review coming out tomorrow. Probably some AEW talk Wednesday night. And we'll see what else happens this week that I might jump in on. And uh, I appreciate you uh, listening and watching. Consider liking this video. Consider subscribing if you aren't already, and leave a comment if you so desire. You can tweet me at Blading for Truth, and anyone that feel, wants to email me for any some unknown reason, I don't know why you would. Blading for Truth at Gmail. 
And you can end that with a dot com. So, this week, episode 67 of Blading for Truth podcast. Let's put it in the books. And I'll see you all this week at some point. Remember, put the joke back on him. <laughs>